Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can go ahead and create an interesting text effect using the CSS animation and gradients. So basically, I am going to show you how you can create and animate a gradient background on the text. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. You can see that inside the HTML panel, I have a very simple paragraph and it has a class of text and inside the CSS panel I am using a simple CSS or flexbox to kind of center the text both horizontally and vertically and I am using the Poppins font family here. Now let's go ahead and target the text class. So you can write text and inside that I want to write some basic styles. For example, let's go ahead and use the text transform so that I can make this text uppercase. It's looking good. Now let's go ahead and apply a gradient to this text. We will be using the background property. So background image property and this will help us to apply any kind of gradients that we want. I'm going to use linear gradient and I want to set its direction to the right and let's use the color stops that you want. You can write any color stops separated by commas. So this is how you can use the different color stops. But I want to delete all these colors and paste my own color stops separated by commas. Now you can see that this gradient is not applied to the text yet. Well, we can do that by using a very interesting property uh, that is background clip and set its value to text. Now, if you are working on Chrome browser, you may see that this is not working. So to make it work or fix this, you can use WebKit prefix and write the background clip and set its value to text. Now you can see the gradient has been clipped to the text but you may notice that it isn't appearing right now the problem is that we have already a color applied to it which is a black color we need to remove that color so that we can see through our gradient so apply a color property and set its value to transparent now we have revealed our gradient so this was the first step and now let's move on to the second step where we will be animating this gradient all right so what i want to do here is that i want to bump the size of this gradient so that i can only see two color stops mainly green and orange so let's go ahead and desize the background by using the background size and set its value to around 400 percent maybe this is much larger so let's go with 300 percent yeah that's looking nice now let's go ahead and apply a background position so that i can show you how this is going to work let's go ahead and set its value to around minus 200 percent and you can see the other part of that gradients. So this is what we are going to animate in our keyframe animation to see the different parts of that gradient. All right. So for now, I'm going to set, leave it to minus 100%. And now let's go ahead and create keyframes. So add keyframes. Let's give it a name. You can write any interesting name you want but I'm going to give it a specific name that is animated text. And here we are going to create only two keyframes, start and end. So let's go ahead and use the keywords from to start with and to for the end animation. So here we are going to animate the background position property so that we can animate our actual gradients. So I want it to be 
set from 0% and and should be 100% like this and the last thing that we need to do to make this animation work is that use the animation property on this text so let's go ahead and use the animation property and first value that we need to set here is that name of the animation so animated text and then we will need to set duration for that animation which is two seconds and let's make it infinite now you can see that our star our animation starts working immediately but you can see that it is kind of jerking off at the end so let's go ahead and fix this let's go ahead and use the animation direction so maybe i will be using alternate reverse and now you can see that how smoothly it is transitioning and to make it a little more interesting what you can do is that you can simply remove this starting uh, position and just leave the two background position and you can see that how interesting effect it is producing go ahead and reduce this duration to 200 ms to see what kind of effect it is going to generate it it's kind of lightning effect i'm not liking this and i'm not going to use 200 milliseconds here let's go ahead and set this to five seconds to make it little slower so that the color changes very smoothly and slowly and look at this how lovely it is so guys this is how you can use the uh, css background clip property and background size and position to kind of create the animated gradients on your text so guys if you do like this video or technique please like this video and comment your thoughts on the comment section on this video and please uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can find much more contents related to this so thank you for watching see you soon